السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ گڈ ایوننگ فرینڈس بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دس ویڈیو ایکچولی ان پریویس ویڈیو آئی شو آئی آلریڈی شو ان دا ٹاسک مینجمنٹ سسٹم فنکشنل ان فسٹ ویڈیو آئی شو ان دا فنکشنل ڈیمانسٹریشن ان سیکنڈ ویڈیو آئی شو ان یو دا ٹیکنیکلس یو یو کین سی مائی پریویس ویڈیوز اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو ایکچولی آئی ول شو یو دا جینگو اتھنٹیکیشن Uh, objects, forms and views which we, we use in our that application. Functionality I already shown you, just technical things I will show you here. Let's start. So first of all, this is actually the documentation. If you want to see, you can go through, uh, you, can, you can see all the documentation here. This is a change password. This form actually taking the old password, new password, new password confirmation. Log out, sign up and reset password. For f first we can start the sign up. This is sign up form. For models actually we are using the Django Contrib authentication model import users. This user contain all the things. For sign and here actually we are importing from Django Contrib auth forms, user creation form, user change form, authentication password chain form and password validation <coughs> sign up form this one is sign up form based on the user cre create cre user create form which already create provided by already created by the <coughs> Django this is actually actually a subclass sign up form is the subclass of the main class user creation form. This is actually called inheritance in object oriented programming. And here this is model form. So we are providing the model name user fields which we required. We can also change the street of user we can create another <coughs> another our defined user and we can just inherit this user in our model also it is possible or we can add another new model and we can link one by one uh, one one relation between user and our for additional fields also but here is no required so just we are using the basic fields there are other fields also but I use only the this fields password password 1 password 2 is what is here label password and confirm password why I use separately this because here I need widget password input which will hide the password and here you are using the simple just actually providing the <coughs> class of the bootstrap form control which he defined here bootstrap control form control is equal to form control for just actually we are formatting here we can actually in attributes we can provide the classes and other things CSS and different things so this sign up form this is login form authentication form based on the authentic this is subclass we created of the authentication form here we are taking a username password level widget also auto complete this is HTML widget and class password change form also here we have new password here 
here we are also using the password validation help test provided by Django which we are using new password to old password for changing password here we see for no, login in our home page change password this one so these three are the forms and model <coughs> we all only use this import and we just link it with our task and view <coughs> we can see we import dot means current folder from dot form we are importing all the forms we created which are the subclass of their main class provided by Django sign up form login form password change is three this I already show you in my previous task and other thing and here is the import authenticate login logout these are the view update session session authentication hash this actually what is this this is for hashing the password this all provided this for all provided by Django default actually in Django we are also using the decorator what is the decorator is the <coughs> function within the function like in Django everything is object in Python everything is object so we are actually passing the one function to another function like in normally we are providing the parameters no? but here in the power of the Python we can also provide the function to other function so using this this is actually we are also using for security layers and different thing so I created here one decorator has login you can use any name if user is requested request dot user is authenticated then directly go to the add task <coughs> this URL or you can change to desktop or dashboard also if it is not authenticated <coughs> then go to the user login page this page user login URL URL all URL we can define here in URL.py file <coughs> all you or all URL are here and then we are using the login form which we created in dot forms dot forms.py file for login then if it is valid we are getting the clean data username password then authenticate this is uh, created by Django authenticate if you, for this one you can see the documentation also it is taking the parameters username is equal to uname we are providing our uname here password if it is not none then, it, then another view we are using login login request it is taking the request and user authenticate value which is written by authenticate if it is okay then go to the add, add task or we can also http respond redirect we can also use the desktop dashboard or any other, any other location if it is not valid then show this message please enter a valid username password and go to the login page for example if I will say username 
पासवर्ड रॉन्ग पासवर्ड प्लीज इंटर द वैलिड यूजर नेम पासवर्ड ही डायरेक्ट टू लॉग इन यूर एज द लॉग इन दिस यू आर एल नेम ऑल्सो लॉग इन एंड पेज नेम ऑल्सो आई क्रिएट ए सेम सो इफ द मैसेज इज ऑल एरर्स विल शो हियर ऑल मैसेज इज अलर्ट अलर्ट इन्फो विल भी शो हियर मैसेज सो मैसेज इज शोइंग हियर प्लीज एंटर दिस इज एक्चुअली क्लास ऑफ बुट स्टेप आई विल से इंस्टीट ऑफ इन्फो आई से डेंजर आई थिंक डेंजर इज ऑल्सो दियर मे बी You see the danger is coming, like this. And this is the HTML and Django template language here. I didn't put too much CSS here. Just simple. This is the login view. And if if not authenticated, then go to the login. If user is authenticated. then what it will do already we have decorator here it will go to the add task directly so user can not manipulate the url and in by default first if first time it will be come here so it will just blank form login form will be populated <coughs> and this is actually our HTML and this is a contact data. HTML page. So same like log in, log out. If user is authenticated, then log in. If else also log in. Password change. If user is authenticated, then it is log in. So password change form will be called. request dot user request current user data is request dot post if post method is equal to post and valid then save and also update session authentication request form dot user so what it will do it will hash the password if you can remove the password will not be hashed it will be shown in back end here now you see here password is not showing password is not showing here this is hashed this is by default system of the algorithm of the django we can also change this one also and message sent password change successfully and go to the dashboard else password change form it will go to password change form here change password form it will come here this is the simple thing and this is your other sign up same thing has login we are calling again here <coughs> if it is already login so it will not go for sign up it will go to the add task this one this this url it will go we already created here for example sign up this is sign up url no? now i am copying just for showing you sign up url okay now first i can log in here you see what will happen now here is user is login na dashboard everything is login here user login showing here now i am going to paste this url here 
it will not go in that URL because we already put here our decorator as login if it is login then, do, then where it will go at task otherwise for example I put here now I log in I log out now so it will go to sign up and when creating when creating the sign up it will take in the sign up form validate safe symbol what additional thing it will do it will add there is another model group in group model it will add a name simple static name group to do group and user dot group dot add group this group so for new user this group will be assigned I show you here now admin this is by default Django dashboard Django admin dashboard so this group to do group created for this group what as we assigned task can add can change is all models the user which we creating we are assigning the, this to do groups or we can create new also group we can also allow him to change all this but we only already gave this authentications on this model change delete view if we can remove this any of this user cannot perform any action on this if we are using the class base you or any other so it will not allow user requested dot user will not allow to perform any action so this is the power of the Django no need to create any user authentication system it is already provided and Django mostly used is more secure than Node.js <coughs> mostly companies which we are actually lending their payment gateway as per my knowledge of banking or insurance or another financial company they are using the Django due to security because in Django every HTML page for example every HTML page contain CRF token, CSRF token by default you see here CSRF token this is actually making every transaction secure every every record secure this is actually key default key generated backend in backend by Django I show you here maybe sign up form and else go to the dashboard so that's it thank you very much for watching this video this is you see the CRF token every time it will change and by default created which we actually are providing in the settings.py file and yes for Django backend email I forget to show you settings.py file here actually we are providing our all the things email host for resetting password or for sending pass for sending email we have to configure email host email port this documentation is also available default email from email 
for sending the email. Now we send the email to our this one uh, for resetting password. We have to also configure this. And for media URL saving, we are saving in local. If you want to save on, or save or save on S3 bucket or any other place, we can also configure here with authentication, all the things with, with, with keys also. Already I done in my previous videos. If you can want to see that S3 bucket detail, you can see the document management application, document control management system. In that system, I already created and implemented on AWS EC2 bucket, EC2 instance. Thank you very much for watching this video.